We recently lost a really powerful lighting tool in Photoshop, but now there's a brand new feature which can be adapted to get us exactly that same effect. Check it out. So previously I had a very popular tutorial on using lighting effects in Photoshop. As many of you know, those have been removed. Let me show you how to get the same result using a new feature which is currently only in the Photoshop beta. I'll give you a link on how to download the beta. So first of all, let's turn this into a darker view. So we're going to go under the adjustment layers. Let's take exposure. And we're just going to slide the exposure down to make the image darker. Now we want to do two things. We want to add a spotlight, but we also want to enhance the texture. So let's start with the spotlight. So now we want to light this up. We make sure we select the layer mask, set the foreground to black, because as we paint with black, that will hide this adjustment layer and allow the light to show through. We're going to grab our gradient with the gradient. We're going to choose foreground to background, which is going to be black to white. We're going to use the radial. Now, as I drag, you're going to see this is going to look kind of similar to what we had, but there's a big difference and I'll show you that. So right now we can drag this out and we can see, okay, we've got some light lighting up that area. So here's the new feature. If you look at this little dot, we can now pull this down. And now we can create directional light, which just changes absolutely everything and gives us back the same effect that we could get with that lighting filter, which has been taken out. All right. So once we go there, we've selected that area. We can also grab this midpoint and notice as we drag that, we can change the light fall off on here. Think of the inverse square law if you want. See how that's kind of falling off there. We're going to bring it in. So it's just kind of hitting our barrel there. And we can just click off the mask to preview that by itself. And if we look at this before and after, we've definitely created this light effect right there. And if you're getting any value out of this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. Now, what about the texture? So let's go into the channels. And what we want to do is take the red channel. And so what we want to do is make a selection based on the red channel. So hold down the control key or command key and you'll see this little marquee click in the thumbnail and notice the marching ants. We've now selected just from the red channel. Okay. So we want to put our channels back to normal. So click on the word RGB and all this should go back to how it was. Let's go to our layers, select our background. And what we want to do is copy just the selected pixels. So hold down the control key, that would be command key and hit J and that copies it. If we hide the background, we can see these are the areas that are being selected. Let's turn it back on. So we're just going to boost the texture in these areas. And the reason for that is when you light something from the side, this textures just pop a lot more. All right. So let's change this to overlay blending mode. Looks a little weird right now, but don't worry. Now we're going to go under the filter. We're going to go to other and then choose high pass. And now if we look there, it is before, and now we can pop this texture and it's not going to pop the whole image. It's just going to pop it in those areas that we selected from the red channel. So if we click okay and look at this before and then after the texture boost, we can see there's our final effect. So drop a comment and let me know if you learned anything new in this tutorial. What I'll do is I'll link to the original tutorial that we did on that. That's up here somewhere. And if you're new to the cafe, hit the subscribe button, turn on notification. You won't miss any of my tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.